During the pandemic, we saw a big spike in people adopting pets. So according to your data, currently we have about 85 million dogs in the U.S., about 60 million cats. So your CEO, your CEO spoke during the JPM Healthcare Conference about this demand for human quality health care. What does that really mean? What does that mean for your business? Look, Frank, uh, as you said, globally, uh, pet owners really see their pets as members of their family. In fact, an extensive study found that 95 percent of pet owners see their uh, pets as members of their family, and therefore, they expect human quality health care uh, for them, just as they get for other uh, members of their family. Uh, and that's been really what's been driving our sector and our industry for a number of years, even before the pandemic. And certainly, as you said, uh, we saw a 10 percent increase in pet ownership through the pandemic. But these trends have been going on for, for quite a long time, okay. and people have gone from having their pets outside to being inside their homes and even in their beds. And so they do see them as members, <laughs> members of their family, and they want them to have quality health care. Uh, I have a couple of dogs myself. I do not let them in the bed. Um, one of your new <laughs> drugs that you put out is one for basically pet arthritis. So I didn't even know that existed. Um, give me a sense. Are, do you see people continuing to really be concerned about their dogs and their different ailments? Because I feel like, you know, a generation ago, we just kind of fed our dogs and, as you mentioned, just left them outside. As we continue to go forward, what are the ailments that you see demand picking up for when it comes to medication? We are incredibly excited about the latest breakthrough innovation that we have, which is to treat osteoarthritis pain uh, for both cats and dogs, actually. On the dog side, it's our product, Librella, that we've just launched in the U.S. And we're very excited to bring relief to dogs, uh, not only in the U.S., but around the world, for osteoarthritis pain and also to drive uh, growth uh, for our business. And so this will be the latest uh, expectation for a billion-dollar franchise for us. On top of our experience that we have with other billion-dollar franchises, okay in the derm category, as well as parasiticides. So potentially a blockbuster. So according to your data, there's a $45 billion global total addressable market for animal health. Two thirds of your business is pet. The other third is livestock. Give us a sense. What trends are you seeing there? And then as we see the emergence of these GLP-1 drugs, weight loss drugs, does that change the outlook for, you know, livestock demand in general? Does that change your business at all? Livestock is an incredibly durable and essential uh, end of the market. It used to be two thirds of our business. Now it's about a third. And the global trends that are driving demand for uh, quality animal proteins around the world are population growth, increase in income. And by the way, we have about 8 billion people on the planet today. That's expected to be 10 billion, so 2 billion more by 2050. And so we see significant continued uh, demand for quality protein uh, around the world, as we have seen in the past. And, and really, when you look at livestock, it grows about 2 to 4%, driven by these underlying uh, durable trends that we see.